What actually is letting go and how do you actually do it? Because I've seen multiple videos and no one actually explains it properly. Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian. I have entrepreneurs who program my mind, in love and valor, empower their life, for happiness, abundance, success, fulfillment, confidence, you name it. I do it. I'm here to help. So I've watched so many videos when I really wanted to understand manifestation, understand the letting go process, understand letting go people, letting go of manifestations, and I just couldn't find out exactly how to do it. So when I figured it out, I was like, right, this should be a video. And it literally just came to me right now. I need to make this into a video. So I'm gonna give you a three-step process in how you can physically let go very easily, let things manifest, let people manifest, and let the greatest life come to you specifically. Step number one, you need to know your outcome. Now, depending on the type of manifesto you are, you need to know whether it needs to be very, very specific or a vague outline of what you want to do or what you desire to happen. Now, when you know your outcome, the next thing you need to do is know the feeling of what the outcome will give you. Know the feeling of what the outcome will give you. Because if you had the feeling, you don't actually need the manifestation. How about if you looked at it that way? How would that change your perspective? So once you know your outcome and the feeling it will give you, we're moving on to step number two, which is know the feeling, remember the feeling, make that feeling familiar, make that feeling something that you feel every day without fail. Make it a feeling that you want to be feeling every day. Do you truly want to be happy? Yes. What is going to stop you from your happiness? Are you going to allow something to stop you being happy? Are you? What is that feeling? How can you remember it? What does it feel like to already have that manifestation? What does it feel like to have that manifestation in your life today? That perfect person in your life, what does it feel like? What does it feel like? And touching back on knowing your outcome, don't be too specific, for example, a person. For example, I want this person in my life because you may think that you want that person, but you may not know that person. So this is my understanding of manifestation, how I do it. I don't go for a specific person. I go for a type of person. If I want that person in my life, if I want a mentor, if I want a girlfriend, if I want uh, a friend, it's a type of person I'm looking for, not a specific person. For example, I don't say, I want to manifest Tony Robbins to be my best friend. I want to manifest someone who is great company, who is empowered, who, love, who loves to grow, who loves to develop. They're the type of traits I look for when I say specific. So when you know the feeling of how it makes you feel, why do you need the manifestation? And that's what actually makes it manifest. Because your brain is physically changing. This is science now. Your brain physically changes thinking that that has already happened. That outcome has already been achieved. That's why you are happy. That's why you are grateful. That's why you are healthy. That's why you are wealthy. That's why you are successful because your brain already thinks that's already manifested. So that's why I, my, the unified field around me is now attracting exactly that into my life. What I desire, what I want, what I want to happen is now happening. I don't want it because that's coming from a state of lack. It's happening. I am it. I just am. It just is. I am just being the person I've always wanted to be. And step number three, be okay with exactly that not manifesting. That's the power of letting go. So this is like a manifestation process, but this is the power of the letting go process. Be okay with not manifesting exactly that. Because, and this is the biggest because, something better is always on its way. If you're in that vibrational state, something better is always gonna come. Take for example, Dwayne Johnson got dropped from college football. I believe it was college football. I may be slightly wrong, but it was some sort of NFL college football, wherever it was. He got dropped and he thought his life was over. The best thing that happened to him was getting dropped, which allowed him to become a wrestler, which allowed him to get into acting to becoming the person he is today. He wouldn't have done that if he was in the NFL. His life would have been completely different. So be okay with it not happening and see every door closing as another door opening. Think about it, one door closes, a million opportunities open up. Every other door opens up. You only get to choose one door, but every opportunity opens up. That person that you're trying to manifest a relationship with, do all you can in order to get that. If it doesn't work, accept it and accept it as Huh, the universe is working in my favor. 
And don't get me wrong, this is coming from experience with me. The universe is working in my favour. It's always working in my favour. Things don't happen at specific times. They may happen later on in life when you're ready for it. But right now, it's understanding that's not meant to be now. Maybe one day. But think about the new opportunities that are opening up. Think about exactly what I do want in my life. Think about exactly what I do have in my life. And being okay with it not manifesting. That's the key. Being okay with it not manifesting. Because when you're okay with it not manifesting, you're letting go, you're detaching. You are physically detaching from exactly that. You're detaching from the outcome, letting go. That is the letting go process. Don't get me wrong, it's not easy. It's not as easy as just like, that's it, I'm just gonna let go. You have to get to the point of sitting there and being, I understand this, I'm addressing it, I'm aware of it. Give yourself a day. Give yourself two days. It's okay to not be high vibes all the time. But when you can, accept it. Because if a plane's going down and you're in a passenger seat, you're just on a plane, that plane's going down and you can't fly a plane, unfortunately you have to accept it. If you can fly a plane, you can do all you can to change that situation. But if you can't change the situation, you have to accept it. And there's nothing you can do. In that time of acceptance, are you going to go out saying, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that? Or are you going to go out saying, I'm glad that I did this, I'm glad that I did that? That's letting go of the outcome. If you survive that plane crash, amazing. If you don't, it's just unfortunate. There's nothing we can do about it. We just have to accept it. And there's things in life that we do have to accept. There's things in life that we can change, but there's things in life that we have to accept. There's no choice about it. So that's how you let go. That's a simple manifestation process to letting go. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you keep spreading love, kindness, and so much positivity.